Hello again everybody, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities! And today's activity will be folding a paper airplane. All you're going to need for this activity is a piece of paper. A piece of loose leaf paper is perfect. Also, if you have a piece of paper from a notebook or a piece of construction paper, that'll be just dandy. Whatever, whatever you have the most around your house. And what I have the most around my house, headshots from the 1990s. So I'm going to be making my paper airplane out of this old headshot of mine from the 1990s. And of course, what I like to do before using any of my headshots is I like to uh, autograph it. So uh, here we go. To my biggest fan. <laughs> and there you go. And that's you. You're my biggest fan right now. So uh, th this is signed to you. Uh, and to prove that it's not done by some secretary's real piece of uh, personal correspondence for me, I'm going to draw a little arrow going through my neck. Kind of a little cartoon thing going on there. And maybe a uh, Frankenstein lightning bolt. There you go, on my forehead. So, folding a paper airplane is very simply the act of taking a piece of paper and folding it into the shape of an airplane. There are many different ways that you can do this. Because I'm using a rather heavy stock of paper, this photographic paper, I'm going to be doing it in a way that takes less folds. This is also good if the piece of paper is smaller. You can find a lot of different plans for um, paper airplanes on the internet. This one is probably one of the simplest ones. So what you want to do is first make a triangle by grabbing one of the corners and bringing it up like so. And you see what you've done? You've made a triangle. And you're going to want to make sure that this point down here actually folds right up to the corner. You see, there's a corner right there. You want to make sure that the fold hits that corner directly, because that's how you know that this is a even triangle that you're making. And you're going to want to make sure that the crease is really well pressed. I guess, uh, yeah, pressed. You want to make sure that you really press the crease really hard, because you want to make sure that this is... Uh, as symmetrical as possible and making the creases hard makes it very flat and being very flat will make it more symmetrical. Now like I said before this is a uh, heavy stock of paper. If you get on the internet you'll definitely be able to find ways of making more complicated airplanes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and. Uh, so what you do is you make the second fold, I have to narrate what I'm doing, I make the second fold up here so that it makes that second triangle. If you hadn't noticed what I was doing, you kind of bring in that corner right there. Make sure that this corner, this point and this point here, these two points, are right on top of each other. You'll know that again, you've made a very even fold. Then you fold it down the center. And you're going to want to make sure that the fold hits the very front point of the airplane and that the back of the airplane is completely even with itself. Here you go. Now if you've been doing everything I've done, it should look something like this. And all you have left to do now is make the wings. They can just be folded down just about any size that you feel comfortable with. You want to make sure again that this back edge lines up with the tail. Keep everything nice and symmetrical. I keep saying symmetrical over and over again because it is actually the key to making a decent paper airplane. And I don't know if I've made a decent one, but I have made a complete one, and here it is. It's a paper airplane. 
So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, please hit the share <laughs> earthquake. Please hit the share button. If you really, really liked it, hit the subscribe button, and there'll be more crap just like this. So until next time, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Stay active.